All the guns you'll be seeing today are available on solware.co.uk, based in Tamworth. Hello there ladies and gentlemen, you join us today and we're doing another one of our unboxing videos. As you can probably see today, it's a Kral and it's the Kral Puncher Maxi. Now, I've not even uh, had a look at this gun yet, not even took it out. Straight away I've noticed as I open the box there's uh, the readings from the gun which has doing, been doing around the 560 uh, feet per second kind of thing so I'd say that's probably around the uh, 11 foot pounds mark I think you get the crawl handbook and what else do we get in here right then we've got a, a single shot tray a filler probe and some rubbers in there oh they're well pushed in that might be a bugger to get out no you can push it from the other side two crawl magazines I think they'll be 12 shots, they look very much like the same magazine that, uh, that goes in the MPO2 but don't quote me on that. Right, then we have the gun, the Kral Puncher Maxi. Uh, nicely set up, uh, I can see from the side here it's got a power adjuster and uh, a safety switch right on the side, obviously a side cocking lever adjustable cheek piece, nice little touch and uh, the gauge there is on the bottom on this one so usually on a crawl they're usually there this one is fitted into the bottom I'll just put the box to the side there I don't think there's anything else there to uh, pick up with so we'll throw that down bring in our stand and put the gun on there um, yeah, it reminds me quite a lot, I don't know if you're seeing, but it looks a bit like a pretensis, a Retimex pretensis. Uh, you've got a nice little picketing rail under there should you wish to fit a bipod or any other kind of thing on there. One thing that's not on here that is on the pretensis swivels, but you know, you can't have everything. Trigger, adjustable, and it's a metal piece, looks like a match trigger, really nicely done. As I say, there's safeties there, and that's your power adjuster there. Uh, nicely done. Another thing again with the crawl, uh, you only get like a little bit of a muzzle brake on the end there. You will have to budget in for a silencer moderator, either one of the two. Um, two choices it would seem there on the top for your scope. You've got the 20 mil or 11 mil rail. So nice, you do have at least the choice there to pick whichever one you wish. Um, Having a good look round it, uh, it's not heavily stippled. There's a little bit of stippling here on this little bit of here and a little bit here, but the back end of the gun there is quite smooth. Now, obviously, if you're working in wet conditions, that may put a few off because uh, I know people like a, a heavy bit of stippling just so they've got some grip in the wet. This gun isn't one of those, so bear that in mind. Um, typical crawl open to fire and as you can see that's why you will need a moderator they are lowered uh, adjustable cheek piece you could see yeah a couple of adjustments there on the cheek piece nice little touch uh, filler probe will be in here I'll take it to rotate to find and just attach your cheek piece you, you fill a probe there to fill it up which shouldn't be a problem but uh, yeah, it's another typical Turkish gun. Uh, I find the Reximexes and the Kral never really have much difference in how they come out and look, but they are reasonably good guns. I have more, um, should I say, uh, I've had more joy with the Reximexes than the Krals, but I've never come to crawl out because the MPO2 I've got now works absolutely perfect and it's always there, it's, it's a trustworthy gun. So I'm hoping this one treats me exactly the same. Uh, large tube there on the filler so I'm taking it, this can do a fair few amount of shots. I've not looked into it yet what it can do but uh, 
I'm guessing at least 120 with the soil that tank. It is rather large as you can tell. Um, obviously it's just left now for me to get this set up, get a scope set up on it and get it ready to fire. Uh, it'll have to go through a cleaning process as you know every gun that I have goes through the cleaning process before it gets used so obviously that's all to be done. But uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward again to getting this out there and getting it up and working, getting it usable shall we say. I'll do as I normally do with all our unboxing videos now, as I'm coming to the end and having a good look around the gun, I will do a photo montage so you can get close to the gun and actually see the fixtures and fittings. One thing that I have not noticed, oh of course we did it on that side, I was just going to say I didn't notice where the... Uh, where the safety catch was but it's on the side of course we've talked about it earlier haven't we but yeah again base when you buy this gun on whatever the price of the gun is put yourself in an extra 60 70 pounds maybe for a moderator as well but uh looks a nice gun and i'm really looking forward to getting to use this um I'd also like to see which one of these comes out better, this or the Pretensis, because we have both in stock now here. And uh, I'll be putting them up against each other, obviously, as time goes on. But yeah, I'm going to end today there. Don't forget, as I say, uh, unlike Gamma, you do get two magazines. You'll get your book, and you also get your Chrono readouts, which are there, which is also nice. Your little bag of bits including your single shot tray and a few extra rings and your filler probe in there and that's what comes in the box. Okay then, well thank you all for watching. I hope this has been informative of what you get when you open the box with one of these. Obviously I'll put the photo montage together now for you so you can actually see the gun close up. I know it's hard to see from there where this is filmed. And uh, I shall see you all in the next video very soon. Thank you all for watching.